We might have imagined they're a phenomenon peculiar to southern England. Not so. Apparently, they've been occurring in America and in the Far East as well. And tonight, believers and seekers from around the world are descending on Andover in Hampshire to swap circles and discuss theories about what causes them. One of the researchers is Mr. Kazuo Ueno, a science writer from Japan. Mr. Ueno, tell me, how many crop circles have you come across in Japan? I think around 20, especially in the south part of Japan. And uh, some of them is uh, central part of Japan, but almost in south. And tell me, over how many years have these uh, crop circles been appearing over there? I think it's over about, about 10 years. Something so it's like a, recently, uh, a recent phenomenon, in fact, in Japan, like it is in this country. Yes, but uh, I think even a very ancient, I, I believe, maybe ancient people in Japan, they saw the same type of circle phenomena. What and makes you say that? Why do you mm, say that? Because, uh, for example, in case of Japanese uh, circle phenomena, we can see some of them, it's very near from uh, historical site, like in Silberry Hill in this country, uh, such kind of uh, archaeological hill or mountain. Not all of them, of course, but uh, some of them is, uh, I'm sure, such kind of relations. Let's bring in Colin Andrews, who's a researcher into crop circles in this country. Does that tie in with the latest theory that you have, of Certainly. relating things back to Stonehenge and Avebury and so on? Certainly. I, sh I share that very view. Uh, the crop circle dimensions, the main category of crop circle dimensions, relate so closely to the dimensions of all of the circles, the concentric rings of Stonehenge and the ley line configuration around the crop circles and Stonehenge are so, so very close that uh, we cannot ignore it. But why is it that these crop circles appear to have been getting much more elaborate in the last 12 or 18 months? We don't have the answer to that, but it has been clear over the last decade that the patterning has been evolving. We are looking at a very, very important phenomenon which is evolving and is moving on to something very important. Do you have any, any idea, Mr. Weno, as, as to what is behind these stranger circles and formations? Yeah. Uh, I think this is related to some kind of uh, mythology. It's uh, sometimes I think uh, this, uh, as you know, uh, we have, uh, uh, for example, Dragon's mythology. We can see all over the world. Dragon mythology. Dragon's mythology. It's a, uh, it's a vortex pattern. It's a winding pattern. You know? and maybe ancient people believes if they saw in their field this sacral phenomena this is vortex is winding you know and they represent they express this uh, design in in the ancient vessel or pottery or something like that briefly it has been said that, that it's just a big hoax you know and it could well be people are hoaxing in japan as well as in this country now what do you think of that it's absolutely positively not so you cannot change the atomic structure of a plant by trampling feet do you agree with that yes i agree it's i think it is completely impossible yeah Okay. There we are. Thank you very much indeed, gentlemen. There Thank we'll you. leave the debate.